Hey, what's going on, guys? Ralph Joseph here at St. Albert Dodge. And man, what I got behind me here is this 2021 Chevy Corvette Stingray C8 in this all black on black on black package here. Man, this thing is, whoo, first and foremost, we got to take a look to see what's underneath the hood. Double press the key, which is a nice little key right there. And a two pops it open. Oh, wait, this is not where the engine is at. This is just a nice little storage. You can pump some uh, groceries in here. You got the hooks. You can put a luggage in here. Um, and you know, you got to stay safe just in case someone else gets locked in there. They can, you know, have an escape here, which is nice because this one right here closes like that. And all you do is apply a little pressure and it kind of snaps into place right here. If we take a look at the front, this, already, this comes equipped with two front camera just so you can see, you know, the curvature and the ramps and you're not hitting this nice little front fascia here, which is nice. Got a, tons of great sleek, slim curved design as well. Got some nice ventilated system with LED lights and daytime running lights as well, which is just, I call this the Batmobile, man. The black on black package, I'm a fan. Got these nice low profile Michelin uh, tires with some 19 inch alloy Corvette wheels and Corvette brakes as well, which is just wow. Of course, you got your blind spot monitoring detective system. Very sleek design, it cuts in there. And as you can see, even looking at the door, you would never believe how to open the door. It's not like you don't press anything like that. You go underneath here and there's a small little button right here, which opens the door electronically and allows you to open it up, which is, uh, which is nice and sleek and slim. If we move our way onto the back, another push of the button as well opens up this magnificent engine. 495 horsepower, 470 foot pounds of torque in this bad boy right here. Mid-sized engine, so you get tons of control, tons of stability, especially if you're taking it on the track or just taking it on the road, right? Which is nice, you got tons of space right here. This actually is equipped that you can take off the roof and snap it right into place. So this actually is a convertible, it's well hard top convertible. So for those hot summer days, you don't have to worry. You just kind of put it in there and you are good to go. It does come with the all leather <laughs> car cover as well. So when you're parking it, you have it parked for the winter. You don't have to worry about getting it all dusty and whatnot, which is not bad. And of course, a trickle charger specifically for this vehicle. So when it's unplugged, you can kind of charge and not have to worry about it dying all the time right now which is throw, put that back in there and then i mentioned the engine man this thing is looks sleek even when you close this right here if you close it like this snap it into place it will automatically close it so you don't have to slam it or mess up any components on here this thing does have a backup camera right here and another backup camera right here to make sure it's kind of checking out all your blind spots so you're not scratching anything you're not uh touching anything at all when it comes to backing up or going forward and it comes with active vents because this thing is hot and it needs somewhere else to go which is nice um, these lights right here wow even if we kind of access them nice sleek design very sim kind of reminds me of kind of like ferrari uh kind of ferrari lights brake lights right there which is nice you got twin dual exhaust you got two there two there and of course you got your backup sensors as well this thing is just a thing of beauty i tell you what but let's take a look on the inside see where the party is at hey what's going on guys ralph joseph here i sent out with dodge just to show you the inside of this thing of beauty that i call batman 2021 chevy corvette stingray in a c8 all black package all black inside and this thing just looking inside of it just the just the visual aesthetics of this is just like you know you're in something nice when you come into here with nice sleek design sleek small vents you don't even know where that but they're right there nice design where the um, touchscreen is facing the driver so the driver has complete full control of this vehicle and the passenger is just enjoying the ride which is a which is very nice um, but first and foremost folks we take a look on the left side here there's lots going on on this door you got the bose since the 10 speakers in this vehicle right here you got the uh, uh seat setting as well you got one and two of course you got your windows up and down as well you you got your power uh, mirrors as well so just kind of squeeze into those tight spots which is nice of course you got your adjustable mirror down here you got this is how you open the door so there's no latch or anything like that it's all electronic of course with the push of a button hold it and it opens the door 
of course you got your lock and unlock and just down here this is where you open up the trunk or the front i would rather say and the the trunk right there right here with a push of a button you got a little bit of storage right here and just in case an emergency you actually need a lot it's just tucked in just at the bottom here where my feet is at if you ever do need it but all the all the doors are electronics and with everything in here which is uh which is nice and you can only open the door fun fact you can only open the door when it's fully in park not when it's in drive or neutral or reverse so that's a nice little fun fact for you guys here these specific seats are called gt1 seats very comfortable uh racing seats here kind of nice hugs you of course you got automatic power and the lumbar as well to adjust it to the driver and even the passenger as well but let's start this bad boy here nice sound as well and um, depending on how you have the driver profile it will adjust the seat and the steering wheel to the position that you left it in so you can kind of come in and know that it's in my position on the left side here you have your um you have your heads up display so right here you can adjust exactly how high it's kind of tucked right down here it's, you can adjust how high or how low the heads up display is that it what displays on the heads up um, display as well and the brightness of it um, which is a nice feature to kind of have to to allow you to be looking forward and not down especially if you're going on a high speed or on a track or trying to beat your time instead of just that split second of looking down you can just look straight ahead and and see it right there if we take a look at the steering wheel this is a very unique racing steering wheel with a flat bottom and flat top kind of curve on the sides as well very um very grippy so you can kind of enjoy it and got a nice little line here so you know that it's always good this is where the uh um middle of the steering wheel is at and nice and stiff as well so when you're you're hitting the track and going on high speeds or even low speeds or even in town you know you got all the control when it comes to this as well of course you know what's a racing car without paddle shifts right you got the paddle shifts and nice size as well so even if you're at the bottom at the top you're going like this or like that you can access it and not feel as if you're not able to touch them as well if you look at uh, the steering wheel here of course you got your cruise control because of course if you you know go to calgary or whatever you can access your cruise control at any point in time and right here yeah you like nice little fave fave songs that you can kind of pre-program in here so you can just kind of boom 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 click it it goes straight to it and on the uh, left side here you got your volume up and down as well just right here you got your you got your right side cluster dash navigation you can go left right up and down you can go lap time you can go performance audio and as you do please which is nice you got your heated steering wheel voice command as well on right here and you got your android auto apple car play once it's connected you will to answer and end calls straight from your straight from the steering wheel which is a nice little feature as well as you guys can already see this is a very huge cluster dash which expands from one end to the other all electronic all screen so everything is right in front of you there and one thing i forgot to mention or almost forgot to mention is this little button right here this is specifically puts it, puts it in the z mode for you so you are ready to go once you're going into that z mode of course there's a few other modes as well but if you're ready to go you got someone that you pass or you know you're on a track you're ready to go put it in that quick z mode you're 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 zooted you're you're out here for sure if we take a look on the right side here if we go home you got your nice little screen here with the volume up and down button right here of course you got your audio phone um navigation all with the touch of a finger you can kind of do as you please and very responsive as well as not slow at all you got your wi-fi hotspot and different users so let's say if you you know you have your son or daughter kids wife um your husband whoever friend uh, valet you can create a profile for them so they're not just kind of bagging your vehicle and doing what they want with it you can kind of create your own user profile as well once your apple carplay or android auto is connected it will display on there you can flip through these pages and go into the app since the chevy you got on start as well you got your climate control you got your camera which is a nice little feature because it has two front cameras which you can kind of see right here with the lines you got the backup camera you got the surround view you can kind of zoom in zoom out um, front cameras you got your lines lines no lines so you're not scratching anything you're not hitting anything you're all set up so when you're going over that little bump you know exactly how to take it sideways not straight ahead folks sideways nobody's scratching no underneath the vehicle all right press the home button you're back in here sirius xm and you got 
uh, Amazon Alexa built in here as well. So this thing is equipped. Of course, my Chevy, you guys know what that's all about as well. We're gonna go to the first page here, which you can have your navigation on one side, your um, radio or your music on the left side or however you would like to navigate it as well. And of course you can kind of go through here and navigate it like that as well. Um, you got your uh, cluster dash, you got your climate control straight from the touchscreen, or you see this nice uh, line all the way from top to bottom here. That's what it is as well. Heated and ventilated seats for the driver and the passenger. They can kind of uh, pick which temperature they like, what kind of mold, AC on, off, right from the touch of their fingers, see what the temperature is at, high or low, or simply the driver can kind of allow himself to, or herself to kind of do their thing with that when it comes to that, which is a, a nice little clean feature. As you can already see, the vents are nice and slim and sleek as, as if they're not even vents, but they are, which is a nice design for a 2021 model, very modern as well. If we take a look a little bit down from the touchscreen, you got your different settings. You got your park, you got your reverse, you got your drive, and you got your neutral. So I'm gonna apply the brakes here and all it does is lift it up and it puts it into reverse and you already got your backup camera, and your front camera got going on. You put it in neutral with the press of a button and to put it in drive, lift that up and you are all good to go. The cameras are already activated depending on which setting you are in to make sure that when you're leaving, your set is forgetting, of course, the manual mode, once you kind of want to get going and you know drive away here. Of course, you got your traction control on and off and you can access your cameras just with the push of a button right here. Um, this little thing, however, this, this is where the money maker is at right here. This is where the different modes are at. So if we go left, you can customize it into my mode, into which uh, engine sound and brake feel and steering configurations that you would like. You press it one more, it's in weather mode, so it won't be as aggressive and slipping and um, doing what the vehicle wants. So you can have more control depending on the weather, it's raining or maybe a tad bit snow. I'm not too sure if you guys wanna take it on the snow, but we're gonna go right to go back to my mode, which we've already just talked about. Of course, you got the touring mode, which is nice city driving right there. You go one more, you go into sport mode, and lastly, and of course you see in the sport mode, you'll see, you'll hear the different configurations in the engine and the transmission and even on the cluster dash as well. And last mode is the, the track mode. Track modes, boom, boom, it, it's ready to go. And of course the Z mode that I mentioned as well, once you put it into that Z mode and then you, you like, this thing goes on the track 2.9 seconds, boom, it's zooted, ready to go. Man, I wanna see how this feels. Of course, you got your couple cup holders here, and just because this is a sports car doesn't mean it doesn't have storage. With the flick of the button right here, boom, this opens up, and you got your USB, you got your USB Type-C, and you got your auxiliary cord. You can kinda of put your phone either here, or put it in this small little spot right here, which kinda of sits perfect. I know my, I got a little tiny phone, folks, but you can kinda of fit it right in there as well. And, and, and like I mentioned before in my uh, in, uh, early in the video, this completely comes off. So if you wanted to enjoy the breeze, the sunshine, um, with kind of clip on clip here, unlatch here, unlatch here, this completely comes off and you can store it inside of the trunk so you don't have to leave it at home or leave it somewhere where, you, you know, let's, just in case it rains, right? You can clip it right back in. Of course, you got your OnStar SOS, you got your Syst, all as support normal as well in your emergency functions as well. You can program your garage in here as well. But this thing, folks, is just set up for success, I tell you what. Man, but if you wanna know more about this one, come down, take a look at it. I can show you a video, take pictures, but you just gotta get a feel of it and get a feel of how it drives, how it sounds, how it even looks in person with the naked eye. Come by specifically ask for me, Ralph Joseph at St. Albert Dodge, or just bang me on my line. Phone number to reach me at is 780-293-9444. I look forward to it, okay?